Now in the next four videos, what we're going to be looking at are a certain type of curve, the limousons. And this is really uh, looking at the gradient of that curve, that type of curve, r equals a plus b cosine theta, in order to help explain why the curves look the way that they do. So after I've gone through this, uh, these four videos, these extension videos, I'm going to be sketching r equals 1 plus 2 cosine theta, r equals 2 plus 2 cosine theta, and r equals 3 plus 2 cosine theta. And to better explain why they look the way that they do, uh, we're going to consider the gradient at certain points on the curve. So in order to be able to investigate that, I'm going to need to find dy by dx for this. So how we do that is if we think back to when we converted uh, between polar and Cartesian form, we could say that x is equal to r cosine theta. Now, if r is a plus b cosine theta, I can substitute that directly into this and multiply it by cosine theta. So I would have a times cosine theta plus b cosine theta times cosine theta, so b cosine squared theta. So then I could work out dx by d theta. So differentiating this, I would get minus a sine theta. And then differentiating this, uh, the 2 comes down to the front, the derivative of cosine comes outside using uh, chain rule. So we get minus 2b sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so that's dx by d theta. Now I can also say that y was equal to r sine theta. So that would be r times sine theta, so a sine theta plus b sine theta cosine theta. So dy by d theta would be equal to a cosine theta. And then differentiating this using the product rule, we'll have b sine theta times the derivative of cosine theta, so minus b sine squared theta. And then cosine theta times the derivative of b sine theta plus b uh, sine Square, oh sorry, cosine squared theta. Okay. Now, using parametric differentiation, dy by dx will be equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So we have a cosine theta minus b sine squared theta plus b cosine squared theta over minus a sine theta, take away 2b sine theta cosine theta. And what we'll do is we will use this derivative, the next three videos, in order to explore the behaviour of those curves.